Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Elysian 2 The Encounter by Sonia Score. Elysian 2 is the aggressive and driving follow up to the original Elysian, which was more focused on ambient and cinematic soundscapes. Not only does Elysian 2 include the full version of the original Elysian, but it takes this fantastic multi layer scoring tool into wild and raw new sonic territory. Elysian 2 The Encounter works with the Free Contact Player or the full version of Contact 6.6.0 or higher. Elysian 2 includes both the new and original versions of Elysian. Within Elysian 2, you will find 207 hybrid organic instruments across 12,500 samples with up to three round robins and five velocity layers per instrument. There are 400 fully customizable themes included and every instrument is also available as a single NKI file, allowing you to freely play each instrument outside of the Elysian engine. Now, many of you might already be familiar with the original Elysian, um, which was very similar to what we're going to look at today. But the, whereas the original Elysian focused more on ambient, kind of uh, inspirational, uh, soundscapes, Elysian 2 really focuses on more aggressive, dark, and driving sounds. Um, this is just a fantastic instrument for creating everything from pulses to pads to soundscapes, and the sounds are just really, really rich and layered. And we're going to go through the engine and actually show you not only how to take advantage of the presets, but also how you can build some of your own sounds here. But let's just dive right into listening to some of the sounds and then we'll go through kind of the engine and how things are broken out. So let's start with the very first one, which is uh, Sirius Planet Explorer. And you'll notice that's one of the things that's really cool is the mod wheel. You know, the mod wheel is actually fading it dynamically between different layers. Each of these instruments, they, this is not just a normal synth where you have basically one sample per instrument. There are actually up to five velocity layers and three round robins per uh, instrument. So it's really, really deep and the sounds can really vary with the mod wheel. Let's go ahead and open up the preset browser so you can see kind of what's going on. I'm really going to focus on the Elysian 2.0 instruments as the original Elysian. We did a review on that a couple of years ago. Don, when it first came out, did a review. So you can go check that out if you, if you would like. Um, so let's just start up here at the top. And again, these are all broken out. I didn't mention this. These are all broken out by different planets and constellations. And each of those kinds of has kind of has a different feel to them. So let's go ahead and go to Distant Curiosity.
let's go. And you can see that was a hit. So the different kind of the way that these break down, the hits are just, there, there's not a lot of pulsing going on. They're more playable instruments. Of course, you know what pads are and the pulses really take advantage of the arpeggiator um, of some of the envelopes. You can see the spheres, the pulses and the animated here. Animated is really kind of like all in one scoring uh, patches. Um, so we'll go through some of those, but let's go ahead and move on to, well, you know what? Let's actually go to the spheres. Let's do it that way. Let's do a few of the spheres and then we'll come back and do the pulses, etc. You can see here, there is an individual arpeggiator and envelope for each of the five sound layers. So you can kind of watch that and see what's happening here. jump down here to Cosmic Storm. Let's see what that one's all about. I just love the mod wheel. I love not only what it does to the sound, but I mean, how about that graphic? Is that cool or what? It just really like, <laughs> it really gives you that sense of, you know, creating some really cool, rich underscore for an awesome sci-fi movie. Really, really neat. All right, let's move on to, let's go down and do some of the Orion hits. Let's see what we've got here. And again, you can see here, None of the envelopes or arpeggiators are active, so let's use this as a playable instrument. ahead and move down to how about approaching the core let's start this one with the mod wheel down and work its way up Goodness, that is so nice. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Frozen wind. I mean, what, I, I just love the the ethos of this library. I mean, it's just got that really, I don't know, just rich and kind of dark and a little bit saturated sound. I'm really loving this. Let's see what we have here.
Oh, this, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love this. The, the sounds are just so rich. Okay, let's do one more Orion pad. I'm really loving these. Wow. All right, let's jump to the serious section. All right. I mean, these are instruments, <laughs> you know, this is definitely not a preset playthrough friends. This is a, this is a full review. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I get lost in these presets and just want to let them evolve because that's really where they, where they shine is in the evolution of letting that mod wheel do the work. It's wow. I'm impressed. Let's see, let's go to Let's do one more from the serious pads. I don't know. I don't know if you had headphones on that time, but there was this really cool kind of buzzing sound that was going on in the background. Love that. All right, let's go to, let's do a couple of the Sagittarius, maybe just one or two huge spacecraft. So nice. All right, last one for the spheres. Let's go to a remote planet. Let's go to a remote planet. All right, let's go and do a few pulses. I always love pulses. One of the best parts of any library is a good pulse. Let's see what we have.
All right, let's jump down to Orion Pulse. Okay, let's we'll, we'll come back to the pulses in just a moment, but let's go a little bit over this preset browser just to kind of help you understand what's going on here. The categorization here is really well done by Sonia Score. You obviously can pick from the Elishan, the original Elishan library, or the Elishan 2. You can unclick one of these, and then you'll have the sounds from both the different themes, which are what these are, the themes that combine the five different sound layers. You have um, obviously the time signature that you want to pick that the different sounds are in, which is really, really helpful. You've got the character, and these are also stackable. So if I want an aggressive and a mysterious sound, it's going to pull the ones up that have both of those tags. So that's really nice. You can do the feel. You know, do you want an eight, the 16th, the triplet? Um, the category, again, pulses, spheres, and animated. So really, really great tagging system here. I really like the browser capability. And then if we go back to the main page, you'll see that once again, we do have five sound engines that are happening with five different instruments. And this really gives you a ton of flexibility. Um, you can obviously click any of these sound cores to select the sound that you want to be in that particular slot. But then you also have a dedicated arpeggiator or envelope for each one. And really that depends. Um, arpeggiators are not, I don't think they're available on sustained instruments. They are on things like the hits. Um, but the sustained instruments, you would have only the option for, for instance, an envelope. So you can click the drop down and it will tell you, like this one, we only have an option for an arpeggiator. So let's solo this sound out and you can hear why. you can see why that would make sense. So you'll only have an arpeggiator, but then on another sound, like let's try, let me just check out some of these. Looks like all of these are more, oh, here we go. So let's solo this one. You can see that this one, you have the option for either an envelope or an arpeggiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down. So you can see that's more of a sustained sound. Now, if I want to find out a little bit more or to um, actually customize the arpeggiator or envelope, I simply click it on the main menu and it will take me to it. And you can see here that instead of, even though it's set on envelope, one of the functions of the envelope that you can control is you can create a stutter with the envelope, which is what they're doing here. And of course you can set your time signature, you can set the, uh, the beat, you know, is it 16th, is it 16th notes, eighth notes, etc. cetera. Um, there's just a whole lot of options you can copy and paste to other sound cores, but let's change just the envelope to give you an idea of what's going on there. So the envelope, you know, right here, I have um, a whole lot of steps. If I just kind of want to draw a line, I can do it that way. I can uh, right click and actually create a line. So you can hear that there's just a lot of options here. And then you can set how long do you want it to play for? One bar, a half bar, four bars, etc. So, and then of course the arpeggiator, are you, uh, you know, where do you want it? What do you want it to play essentially? So a lot going on here, but something that's really awesome is the fact that not only do you have one arpeggiator or envelope per sound core, you actually have two. And the reason for that is so that you can uh, change it up so that it evolves with the mod wheel. So one will be for the mod wheel up, one will be for the mod wheel down. So while I have, maybe I've got my envelope, something like this, I'll go over here and then maybe I'll do something like this. Oh, 
I'm doing something wrong, guys. I'm sorry. This is the beauty of trying out instruments on the fly, right? Um, but anyway, you actually can control these differently. So just really, really uh, a whole lot of customization options. Now back to the sound core itself, you also have the ability to change the octave. So, you know, if you want it to play higher or lower, you have effects for it, a dedicated effect slot with EQ. Um, you have a kind of a, a mod matrix, I believe, mod or modulation, yep. Saturator, uh, saturation filter, so you can also control in your mod, you can actually control the modulation for phase, flanger, or chorus. And then there's this really cool thing with the motion engine. So in the chorus here, for instance, I'm going to set my mix, lots well, of 0%, I think that, let's see, let's set that up to 100. We'll get it at 99. So what that means is if I turn the motion on, then my mod will is actually going to control that. So it just gives you a whole lot. Let's go ahead and turn this up. So, and you can also click this button, which will make it go the opposite way. So as you're going along, you can do that. So let's actually turn that down and you'll, I think you'll hear, I think this is the way to do it. Let's try it out. Yeah, that's it. Let's turn this back on. Okay. So you can hear that how it's how it's mixing in differently. And of course, anytime you see this motion button, that's going to be true. So we could mix in additional saturation. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, let's turn that all the way to a possibility of 100%. So not only am I bringing in the sound, I'm bringing in additional saturation as we come along. And then the filter, I'm gonna go ahead and take the filter off so you can hear this a little more because the filter is the main thing you're hearing right now. So let's try that again. So yeah, you can hear it starts out a little cleaner and then just gets a little more saturated as you go up. So a whole lot of options here. I mean, again, you've got the filter, you've got the type of filter, the cutoff, the resonance, um, your EQ you can set and you can also set motions up for your EQ as well. And then you also have a panning engine where you can actually set essentially an arpeggio or, or a sequencer for your pan. So you could turn on the pan engine you could make it pretty extreme if you want to, and you'll hear it bounce back and forth. I think I've got it set. Let's see. Let me go back to the main. Okay, that's Soundcore 4. So I believe, am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And then you have a second pin engine that you can do with another core. So for instance, if we were to go back and we wanted to control Soundcore 3, we could go back to the pan engine. We can have sound core three on in the panner. And once again, do the same thing here. Maybe we want to turn this to uh, 16th notes and maybe we want to create, I don't know, maybe 16 steps. We could just go, you know, you get the idea. And of course, it would help if I soloed out the instrument so you could hear it. And see, it's going to bounce around the different, the different areas if I simply turn that on. There we go. Now you're getting the effect. And now let's just turn both of those on and you can hear, you can really get some cool things going on in the stereo field. So you can see there's just a whole lot of possibilities and you know, it gets really fun because you can create your own sounds really quickly, really easily. Um, in fact, 
let's just, you know, let's just go through and let's just change our arpeggiator a little bit. I'm going to put this on 16 steps and I'm just going to kind of do something random here and there. Okay, and then let's um, let's go back to layer two and let's see what sound this is. Okay, so we've got kind of a stick beat there. Let's make that really fast. And let's turn that to, how about we turn that to 30 second notes and we go kind of crazy. Really, really cool. And then let's see, what if we, on the harmonic engine, what if we turn this to 32 and then maybe we have this going a little fast too. And I don't know, let's see, maybe we go something like this. Okay. And then let's go to layer four. Um, we did a little bit of something with this. How about we change the sound? Let's see what we've got with that one. Okay, and now let's go to five, and I don't know, let's go 16 steps on this one. Let's maybe make it quarter notes, and we'll just throw a random pattern in here. So now, let's go to the mixer, and let's actually just kind of tweak the sound a little bit until we get something we like. See, you can do just all sorts of things, all sorts of experimentation and fun. Obviously, I won't take a ton of time to go through all of this, but you can see on the mixer page, you've got compressor, delay, you've got reverbs with different convolutions, different kinds of reverb, um, even a shimmer delay, just really, really great stuff. Okay, enough said, let's go ahead and keep working through the presets. Let's go to Orion Pulse's 8th 04. move down a little bit maybe try this one That mod wheel just makes a huge difference. You can just do so many cool things with that. Let's work our way down a little bit. How about 
the Sagittarius. I mean, <laughs> that, my friends, is just like an entire, that's an entire underscore in a single patch. Really crazy. down to the Terra Pulses. I mean, if that doesn't want to make you just immediately stop what you're doing and grab some strings and grab some brass and create a trailer or something, wow, that's just amazing. Really, really great. And actually, you know, that's what Sonya Score said they've actually created this for, the Elijah engine. The instrument, both part one and part two, is to really accompany their orchestral library, the orchestra. So this is really made for, you know... Um, to insert into trailers and scoring and to really blend well with the orchestra, which I think it would do a fantastic job of just from what I'm hearing here. one more and then we'll jump to the animated category. jump to the animated and can you imagine if um the spheres are really kind of the you know uh kind of the more patty you know uh soundscape type sounds and the pulses are of course pulse you know pulsing and the pulses sound like that where they have so many layers and they're so complex if the animated is even more than that how on earth because <laughs> those pulses were really complex all right let's try escaping the aliens Do one more Sagittarius urgent help. Ooh, I love the way that's starting out. Let's move it lower. You know that you've got the green keys that really represent the playable range, but you can expand throughout the blue. 
However, this is kind of the sweet spot, but let's go lower and see what happens. Mm, don't think that one really would work. Let's go up a little bit. That's more like it. I love that. That is so nasty in the best kind of way. All right, let's go to one last journey on the Terra side. that dark dream sound you can hear and you can see here at the beginning it's just playing three quick notes and it just adds so much listen to it in the context of the whole sound That is so cool. So, so, so cool. All right. Um, inhabited and infested. That sounds ominous. was anything but ominous. <laughs> That's fantastic. I believe the Terra sounds, and they lay this out on their website, but I believe the Terra sounds are more of kind of the, um, they, they mentioned, I think the word poppy and maybe inspirational. These are more earthy sounds. So poppy, I thought was interesting. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting poppy here, but I definitely like what I'm hearing. see what we have here. Let's jump down to Mercury. Mysterious sounding. Let's jump down to Venus. Let's go one more on the Venus side in our journey across the universe, as it were.
right, let's go to Mars. The survey of Mars. And one more from Mars, rain and fire in 3-4 time. All right, and let's journey to Neptune. Guardian of Life. Oh, that's great. You know, it really is about getting the right combination of sounds just to have that really nice, rich contrast and then just animating them in really unique ways. Uh, you get that really nice counter rhythm going on. I really like that a lot. So many possibilities with this instrument, folks. I'm super impressed. I didn't get on board with the first Elijah and now I tell you, I'm, I'm very, I'm way more impressed than I expected to be. This is really, this is not just a run of the mill contact library. This is honestly an amazing tool for underscore. I am really kind of blown away by how useful this is and just rich sounding. Let's jump down to Jupiter. Let's go down to Saturn. I mean, that is instant underscore. Uh, I don't know um, how everyone else will use this. You know, there every instrument. So many times it gets pigeonholed into a particular genre, but I think so many instruments can be used in so many different genres, and the possibilities are really only as limited as your imagination. But for myself, in the past, I've done a lot of um, documentary scoring, and I mean, this is instant inspiration right here. Uh, really, you could you could kind of cheat and do this as an entire underscore when you're in a hurry. But what's even funner is to really use this as a bed underneath of some really nice piano or strings. I mean, the possibilities are just really, really, really open. All right. <laughs> no jokes, please. We're going to go to Uranus. My kids would be laughing right now. that. Very, very nice. Let's 
let's go to one more pale green disc. So, I mean, those are just some examples of the sounds within Elisha and the encounter. It's just really loaded. I'm so impressed. I mean, the the potential behind this instrument is really just kind of unlimited, as I was saying earlier. You can really do underscoring with this. You can do you can create trailer tracks with this. I mean, there's just so many options. And one of the really cool things is, again, you get all of the Elishan 1 themes and instruments, plus the Elishan 2 themes and instruments. Of course, you can save your own user presets. One thing that I think is amazing, unfortunately, I can't show you because I'm recording the audio in my doll right now, so this is why this is spinning. But this um, spinning circle is usually replaced by a keyboard, which allows you to do MIDI drag and drop which is just kind of mind boggling to me. You can create these super complex sounds and patterns within a Lycian, and then you can drag those into your DAW and assign them to other instruments to really create just some very, very unique sounds across your other libraries. So really great potential there. Um, some other things I'll mention is all of the individual instruments are also available as single patches. So you can actually pull up the, the ambiences, the hits, the sustains. Um, so just a lot going on there. Again, you've got uh, a great category system, a great, a great system of categorizing the presets. You've got tons of individual control across five sound layers with arpeggiators and envelopes, independent effects, um, along with global effects in your mixer. I am just super impressed. Uh, I I tell you, I'm definitely going to be using this instrument. I can already think of a hundred different possibilities. I'm sitting here while I was playing, imagining, oh, I've kind of been thinking about doing a, a really um, light ambient piano album with some strings in the background. And I could imagine this just having some really cool beds uh, underneath that, just some real, really gentle beds. But then also... I just finished um, a cyberpunk album and you know, this would fit, this would be right at home in that. I mean, I, I can hear so many sounds that could have fit into that album that if I had had this, I probably would have been using. So really, really great. Um, I'm super impressed with Elijah and the encounter. Definitely check it out. You can pick it up from best service. And if you already own Elijah, I believe there's a pretty incredible, upgrade offer available. It's very inexpensive in comparison to buying the full library. Thanks for checking out Elijah to the encounter with me today. So what's your opinion? Do you already have the original Elijah? What would you use this instrument for? Scoring work, creating production music, or something else? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.